today's class i am going to discuss about how to design two cross form marks using transmission gate so earlier video we discussed the basic operations of uh, transmission gate and how to implement the basic logic gates by using transmission gate so these things we discussed in earlier videos if you need a kindly refer the video now we move on the session so first i draw the block diagram of marks two cross form marks so it's a simple block diagram here it has a two input and one output the name we called as out so input variable is a and b this one is the selection line so yes represent selection line so this is a simple structure of mux so the basic operation of mux is uh, many input to one output circuit so zero then one so when the selection line value equal to zero the input a is mapped with output now output equal to a so when selection line value equal to zero the input a is mapped with output the output is a suppose the selection line value equal to 1 so in this case the b input is mapped with output now output equal to b so this is the basic operation of mux now i write the truth table the output is based on the selection line so here selection line is yes output represent as out if the selection line equal to 0, output equal to A. Selection line equal to 1, the output is B. Now I am going to convert this MUX structure into transmission gate. Transmission gate structure. So in this structure, I need two transmission gate. So this is the symbol of transmission gate. So in this structure, PMOS transistor and LMOS transistor connect in parallel. So this transistor namely called as T1. This transistor namely called as T2. So in this structure we have a two output but in this mux we have only one output so just you short this two output and you take one output so these two lines are called as the controlling input signal so these two lines are called as a primary input so in this multiplexer we have a two primary input a and b so a and b is the primary input and S is the controlling signal. So here yes, yes bar, yes bar, then yes. So this is the simple structure for two cross one marks equal and transmission gate. Now I just verify the result of the circuit, the response of the circuit. If S equal to zero, the selection line value equal to zero, I just substitute the value in this circuit, S equal to zero. S bar equal to 1, here S bar equal to 1, S equal to 0. So in this case, the PMOS transistor gate is applied to 0, NMOS transistor gate is applied to 1. Here, in this T2 transistor, PMOS transistor gate, the value is 1, NMOS transistor gate, the value is 0. So here, the T1 transistor is turned on, T1 transistor is turn on. In this case, T2 transistor is turn off. So, the A value is transmit to output through T1 transistor. So, when S equal to 0, output equal to A. So, I just substitute S equal to 0 in this circuit. So in this case, T1 transistor is turned on, T2 transistor is turned off. So A value is transferred through T1. So A value is transferred to output through T1 transistor. Then second case, 
when s equal to 1 output equal to b if the selection line value equal to 1 the output equal to b so b input is mapped with output so i just substitute s value equal to 1 in this circuit so s value 1 s bar equal to 0 so s bar value 0 s value 1 so in this case the t1 transistor is turn off t2 transistor turn on because the PMOS transistor gate input is 0, NMOS transistor gate input is 1. So, in this case, T2 transistor is turn off. So, T1 transistor turn off. The B input is transferred to output through T2 transistor. So, this is the simple structure to design 2 cross 1 box using transmission gate. I hope you understand the concept very well. If you are watching the first time in my video, kindly subscribe and support us to make a lot of videos. Thanks for watching my channel. Thank you.